Good morning, everyone. Uh, Monday, the 8th of June. And uh, hopefully we're all getting used to being out and about again. Um, I'm here in one of my favorite spots, literally on the planet, on the cliff path. Sivas Pint, to be more precise. Um, this area of the cliffs is a very wonderful and precious asset to Hermanus. And it kind of adds to my philosophy that uh, a day away from Hermanus is a waste of day. It really is a beautiful, beautiful place, especially to live in. So if you haven't been to Hermanus and you're watching this, you should really plan on putting Hermanus on your schedule. Do you remember the very first book of the Bible and the very first words of the Bible? Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was formless and empty. And darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the waters. Now that's the very first book of the very first verse of the Bible, and I guess it has to be significant. But just try and imagine that that scenario. Complete emptiness. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Apart from one deep reality. The Spirit of God hovering over the waters. I think that's one of the reasons why I like to come out to Hermanus Cliff Path to sit quietly on the benches and there are many scattered around the, the cliff path simply to be still in the presence of God remembering those words and the Spirit of God was hovering over the water. Now, I like to imagine God in such terms less the God who sits on his heavenly throne, kind of directing affairs, do this, do that, go there, go that place, but rather the Spirit of God just present, hovering, moving, doing what needs to be done. Genesis chapter 1, into the emptiness, into the darkness, there is this presence. And it reminds me of the name that God gave or identified himself by when Moses was at the burning bush. Do you remember Moses asked, who are you? What shall I tell the Hebrews or the people of Israel uh, about this person, this reality that called me to go to Pharaoh and say, let my people go. And do you remember what God said? I am. It's called you. I am. Am. Now what kind of name is that? It's an unusual name, but it represents, it encapsulates the reality of God. A reality that I must admit I find deeply, deeply reassuring as I sit here on the cliff paths. And I like to do that as often as I possibly can because Genesis chapter 1 tells us of the reality, the deep reality of the Spirit of God who hovered over the waters. So may you know the presence of God as I am, the one in whom we live and move and have our very being, the Spirit of God present in your life, not always visible, indeed invisible, just encouraging you, strengthening you, loving you, forming you to be the person that God would have you be. The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of God hovering over the waters. God be with you. We'll chat again tomorrow.